Okay, folks, we're going to make our pork, citrus pork, with red peppers. I have our pan all set to go. I'm going to add our meat, which has been marinated overnight, and the salt, pepper, orange juice, lemon juice, and chives. I'm substituting chives for the um, scallions. I didn't have any scallions, so I'm going to substitute. So I'm making sure I have enough of my oil in the pan, because when you cook, and I want to show you something that's really important, is when you're cooking, items that have a little breading or have a little bit of flour on them the key is that the pan isn't too hot that the item gets a nice color to it which we're getting right now also have your mise en place ready i have a hole for my fork which is going to be my plate because i need to let the meat rest so i'm going to give this about two minutes to cook and brown over here, I have my mise en place. I have more salt and pepper. I have my lemon juice, which is right here. My orange juice, my orange zest, which is blanched. I have some more chives, okay? I also have my orange segments, and I have my julienne, right, which is an eighth by an eighth by two inches long, my julienne and red pepper, and I have my demi-gloss, okay? I'm gonna be substituting orange liqueur for Grandma May, so I'm going to have that there. So my meat is just about ready. I'm going to give it a little turn. Okay, I'm going to give it a turn right now. Nice brown color on top. Okay, let it cook. Don't touch it. That's one of the tricks of saute. Just let the meat brown in the pan. Sometimes you're going to get some little dark specks. That's pretty normal. That happens from the flour burning. What I simply do is I remove it just like I showed you there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pork and I'm going to remove it. I'm actually going to use another plate. Just give me one second to get a plate. Okay, that way I can plate up my pork and that way it's all set to go. All right, so I'm going to take my pork out of the pan at this point. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to deglaze my pan. I'm going to take it, bring it over to the side. All right, what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to deglaze. I'm going to use my orange liqueur. I'm going to add my orange juice to this. Okay, I'm also going to add my lemon juice to this. I'm going to add my demi gloss to this. Okay, folks, a little demi gloss in here that I warmed up. And what we're going to do is we're going to let this sauce cook down. Okay, so just give me a second. All right, I'll come back in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right, let this reduce, which I'm doing right now. Now, what I like to do. And I don't think they tell you in the recipe, is I like to check the seasonings, but I also like to stir in my orange zest right now. Well, it's thickening because I want to get as much flavor as I can. Okay, and sometimes what I do is I'll add the peppers in there also just to get them a little soft. I think they want you to use that as a garnish, but I feel it, it's a lot better when they're a little softer. We have a little bit of, uh, you know, less of a, a, a snap to them. I want them to be soft. So as I'm continuing, I'm also going to be adding my chives in there for flavor. I think they tell you to do that more towards the end. One of the other things I like to do is make sure that my plate is very clean. Okay, so there's a couple of things I'm going to do while my sauce is simmering. I'm going to add just a little more demi gloss to this. I am obviously going to taste this also. Okay, and I think what I'll do today is I'll put one segment in or two segments in it also to give it some flavor. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to return the pork into the sauce. I think they want you just to rest it. I think it's going to taste a little better. 
see, I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to come in and I'm going to set up. I'm going to set up a rice peel off, which we made ahead of time. And I apologize. I forgot to mention to you guys about adding salt to it, which we should do. Also fluffing it with a fork, which we're going to do also. Setting it up on a ramekin so it's really nice. So we'll do that ahead of time. And you can do that right on your plate, just like this. And what I'll do is I'll release this after I've had my fork set up. I'm going to continue coming in. I'm going to check the consistency of my sauce. I think we're really close. I'm going to taste it. it tastes really good. It's got a nice little tang to it. I'm going to take my pork medallions and I'm going to put them right here. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to take some of my garnish, which I added to the sauce. And I like it better that way. I know in the book they tell you to do it on the side, but I think it's going to look a lot nicer. At this point, I'm going to add just a little more demi-gloss to my pan, which I'm going to do right now real quick. And I'm going to let it reduce just a little more because I want to make sure that there's enough sauce for the top. I'm also gonna add a little bit of that fresh juice that came from my orange segments. All right, so we're close. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my rice peel off up, and you guys are gonna see there's a nice little uh, ramekin of rice. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to garnish that rice maybe with a little chopped parsley on top. You can even do a little bit of chives. At this point, I'm gonna shut off my burner. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna just add a little sauce right on top to my pork medallions. Okay, folks. Last thing I do is I just wipe my, my plate. And folks, there's your pork medallions.